Right, no messing around, it's cold today, it's London, and uh, I'm freezing my ass off. But today I'm gonna show you how to skip like a boss and fly like a king. Let's do it. <laughs> What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy Hiroshi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through three super cool transitions or combinations for you beginners out there. Because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding how I make my combinations or my transitions look super slick. And I wanted to make a kind of transition series. I've been talking about it on my Instagram if you follow me there for a long time now. So today is episode one. Uh, and we're just gonna start from the ground up, guys. We're gonna just basically build the foundations, the blocks for you beginners out there. And if you guys are intermediates or advanced and already know this kind of stuff, then maybe you can just kind of skip forward in this series when I come to making those videos. If you're wondering what jump rope we use on this channel is of course the Rush Athletics Speed Rope, AKA the Money Rope. This is the most in-demand speed rope on the planet right now, hands down. If you're new to this channel, wanna say a massive welcome. Make sure you please subscribe, especially for this series. There's gonna be a whole heap of episodes coming up each and every week, hopefully. And I'm gonna be taking you through kind of like every single different type of transition that you can kind of come up with, create your own ones, mix things up, and we can actually just share everything as a community as well down below in the comment section so we can all kind of just get everyone's skills together and put it together and make this incredible super ninja kind of jump rope style uh, that we're kind of developing right now. Jump roping is not a science, you can't just read a book and learn it overnight, you really need to just practice and it's just gonna take hours and hours of your time, you just have to be prepared for it but that's why it's one of the best forms of fitness out there, it's why I love it so much because it's made for winners, it's made for those who love challenges and love to be challenged and those who can just basically persevere and stay determined and disciplined. So listen, we'll get straight into this tutorial and take you through three of my favorite beginner combinations that you can get started with right away. Right, so if you're wondering, this is a 10 foot money rope, I'm six foot one. The number one kind of thing that you need to start off with is make sure you get your jump rope length right. Make sure it's the right length for you, the optimum length for you. I've done this in a previous video, so go back and link it somewhere here or here. I don't know where it comes up. For beginners, I'm always gonna say this, right? You're gonna make sure your elbows always face backwards. You don't wanna be doing this because you're gonna see when it comes to transitions and combinations, when you're out here, it's been really difficult to move from one move to the next because your arms are so far apart. So bring them in, bring the elbows back, and your wrists are gonna point forward. And when you're rotating the rope, I want you to rotate with your forearms, not just with your wrists, because that's just not gonna generate enough power, it's gonna get you tired, and it's not gonna look slick when you're doing your transitions. Transition number one, uh, and you're probably gonna think, what the hell, that's not a transition rush, but it is. This is actually just footwork. All you're gonna do is just transition between different types of footwork, and it's gonna get your base, your groundwork, everything else to another level, because if you can get the footwork right, I always say, footwork is king. What I want you to do is go back, check my footwork tutorial that I'll put up as well back in the day, but these are kind of different variations of footwork. What you need to do is try and learn to go from one to another to another, and just make sure it stays fluid, and it just stays just kind of slick. That's what we're looking for in this channel, right guys? We're trying to make you guys look really good when you skip and get the most out of your workouts and your training. So once you've seen those previous videos, I expect you guys to basically get to a level where you can go from basic bounce to boxer step, to kind of crisscross feet, and it's gonna hopefully look something like this. So we're here, basic bounce, boxer step, crisscross, toe kick outs, side to side, the rush step, if you're feeling confident, and just different types of footwork. So that's transition number one, that's combination number one. You're probably thinking, what the hell, that's just footwork, you're not even doing anything, but <laughs> believe me guys, if you get your feet right, if you get them moving the right way, you can move between different types of skills, footwork, um, you're gonna really realize that it's so important that when you come to doing double unders, into double under crossovers, into crossovers, like your feet need to be able to change direction, move, in tandem, you really need to show that you can be light on your feet and adjust very quickly in between the different kind of moves. So that's why I want you guys to practice and practice and practice literally five to 10 to 15 different types of footwork in a row. So that's transition number one, make sure you get that down. Right, so the second transition combination I'm gonna show you involves the side swing. So I want you guys to practice how you're gonna do your side swing with your footwork. The side swing is imperative, it is so crucial, it's so key. It is my go-to move in between nearly every single move I do, transition 
um, and when I come out of different moves, it's just how I link most things together. So this is what you're gonna practice. You're gonna go from your kind of basic jump and do a side swing. So we're here. And that's what you're gonna do. Notice, I'm always bouncing each time I do a side, side swing. Bounce, 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 bounce. There's a cool little van here. <laughs> Remember with the side swing, you want your hands to stay close. You want them to turn over as you open the rope. It's just, everything just looks really nice and fluid. You don't want to be out here, you know, doing crazy stuff like this. You want to be nice and tight here, whip the rope open. Then we're going to go and change up the footwork as we do these side swings. So we've done from double bounce. Now we incorporate our boxer step, our cross legs, everything that we did in the first bit. So here. Now we're doing the boxing step. Notice my feet. Every side swing, my feet are still working in the same pattern. Then you can kind of mix up and get a run step in there while you're doing a side swing. Be here, run step. One, two. One, two. Notice how the feet keep moving. You stick with the run. Right, so for the third transition, we're gonna incorporate a crossover, which for me is a really cool way for beginners to just spice things up, to make it interesting. Um, and a lot of people do believe they know how to do crossovers, but again, I keep them seeing wide arms here, looking not so slick, just really upright, stiff, uh, things getting tangled, everyone getting slapped. We don't want that. Um, we're gonna keep it looking slick, like I said. So let's start with uh, the boxer step. So at this point, you've now got the boxer step down. You can do the side swing and then you're going to move to a crossover and then you just repeat that cycle all the way around. So it's going to look like this. We're here. We're a boxer step right here. Side, side, jump through, crossover. You see that again? Side swing, side swing, jump through, crossover. So watch that again. One, two, jump through, crossover. And remember, as you're doing these crossovers, I want you guys to turn those wrists over. I like to put my thumbs down the kind of handles of the jump rope, facing them kind of forward. Get those thumbs to point backwards, so you get a good cross at the elbows, not at the wrists, at the elbows. You kind of crouch your body a little bit in, turn the wrists over, and there's your crossover. Just nice, flick. And as you make it look smooth, then you're going to start to look like a pro. Um, and it's just a really nice combination for beginners. But um, when you start to get it done right, guys, then I would say concentrate on the speed. Speed is not important, not in your early days. Uh, speed will come in time and it will only look good if you know how to control speed. Because when you're fast and you have no control and you don't look like you really know what you're doing, it's never gonna look effortless. We want that ability where you're able to do the hard things and make it look effortless, make it look easy. And you make the easy things look amazing. That's what you wanna get to. That's the kind of level you wanna get to. So I would then say, then try and ramp up the speed and try and tinker with the speed. Um, and if you really want to spice it up, you can throw a double under in there. So this is the last kind of bonus transition I'm giving you. It's actually a fourth transition. But this is what you're going to do. You're going to do crossover at the end. You're going to do a double under and you're going to start the cycle again. So here we are. Let's put that all together. Cross, double under. Cross, double under. Cross. Cross. And it goes like that, guys. I mean... Today's video hopefully will be short and sweet when it comes to editing, but I um, hope you guys got something out of it. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. That'd be really useful for me. It allowed me to know what kind of videos you guys like. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys get on with this and what you'd like to see going forward. Please subscribe right now if you haven't. This series is gonna be absolutely epic. I'm gonna be sharing with you all my secrets, all my top transitions, all my killer combos that you've seen in the past. And yeah, keep following me on Instagram where you'll be getting those short kind of snippets and bites of my day today and any kind of things that I just do in and around the gym. So, uh, <laughs> kind of out of breath. Always out of breath when I do these. But listen guys, appreciate you for all your love and support as always. Uh, I'm gonna catch you in that next video. So without further ado, take care of yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace.